Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ako si Ma'am Kathy at welcome in the world of Earth and Life Science. At ngayong araw ay pag-uusapan natin ang ating unang lesson at ito ay may kinalaman sa origin and structure of the Earth or the planet Earth. Sa pagtatapos ng ating lesson, you are expected to identify the characteristics of the Earth that supports life and expound how the characteristics of the Earth sustain the needs of a living organism. Let us recall first the location of different planets in the solar system. Ang Earth ay matatagpuan sa tinatawag na habitable zone. Ito yung zone kung saan ang temperature ay tama lamang para ang liquid water ay mag-exist. Ngayon ay isa-isahin natin ang mga planeta. Our solar system has eight planets which orbit the sun. In order of distance from the sun, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Ang Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars ay tinatawag na terrestrial planets o ang mga inner planets. At Jovian planets or gas giants naman ang tawag natin mula sa Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, at Neptune. At sila naman ang mga outer planets. Ang planets na maituturing na matatagpuan sa habitable zone ay ang Earth at Mars. In this module, you will understand why this planet is called the living planet. Sabi nga, Earth is the only planet that harbor life and ang Earth lang ang kayang mag-sustain at mag-support ng life. It is located in the habitable zone. It has a molten nickel iron outer core which gives rise to an extensive magnetic field. And it has an atmosphere that shields us from harmful radiation coming from the sun. Ito ang mga factors initially that makes our planet habitable. Aside sa mga nabanggit ay ito pa ang mga factors kung bakit ang ating mundo ay habitable zone. Let us first have the temperature. Kapag masyadong mababa ang temperature, ang ibig sabihin nito ay mas mabagal ang paggalaw ng mga particles. At kung mas mabagal itong gumalaw, ay hindi nagpo-proceed ang chemical reaction. So, the higher the temperature, the faster the chemical reaction takes place. Another thing, kung mababa ang temperatura, it will not permit the liquid water to exist. Ang tendency ay ito ay frozen o ang liquid water ay solid. Ang saktong temperature na kinakailangan upang magkaroon ng buhay at liquid water can exist ay nasa pagitan ng negative 15 degrees Celsius to 115 degree Celsius. Kung sobra namang taas ng temperature ay yung mga macromolecules and even the genetic material like DNA and RNA ay masisira so hindi rin pwede ang mataas na temperature. At bukod doon ay mas madaming mag evaporate na liquid water. If the temperature is higher, the water evaporates faster. Among the eight planets, ang planet Earth lang ang may surface na ang temperature ay tamang-tama lang to satisfy the criteria para masabi na kaya niyang mag-support ng life. The second factor is the atmosphere. Some planets or moons have insufficient gravity to hold an atmosphere. Kapag masyadong maliit ang isang planeta, hindi sapat ang gravity nito upang i-hold ang atmosphere. 
the Earth and Venus are the right size to hold a sufficient atmosphere. The size and the mass of Earth and Venus is enough to hold the gravity. Third is the energy. Kapag masyadong mahina o hindi sapat ang amount ng solar energy, yung mga organisms ay posibleng mamatay. If there is a steady input of light and chemical energy, cells function. Kung masyado namang mataas ang energy, ang ibig sabihin nito ay mataas din ang temperature. Kagaya nga ng nasabi natin na kung mataas ang temperature, ay mas mabilis ang reaction at baka hindi kayani ng organisms o heavenly bodies at hindi nito kayang mag-support ng life. In addition, when there is too much light energy, there are also too many harmful rays such as ultraviolet rays na maaaring makasira din ng cells ng mga organisms. In our solar system, inner planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars receives light than outer planets. Dahil mas malapit ang mga inner planets sa sun, mas madaming amount ng sunlight o energy ang natatanggap nito compare sa mga outer planets. And our fourth and the final factor that makes our planet habitable is the nutrients. Kung ang planeta ay walang system to deliver nutrients to its organisms, it cannot support life. Ano ang sinasabing system dito? These are the process in a planet na siyang nagpe-permit para mag-flow ang mga nutrients na ito. Without chemicals to make proteins and carbohydrates, organisms cannot grow, cannot support life, and cannot exist. And too many nutrients interferes with an organism's ability to get enough nutrients. So, solid planets have nutrients in them. So, those with water cycle and geologic activities can transport and replenish chemical needed by organisms. Just like Earth. So, Earth has a water cycle, an atmosphere, and volcanoes to circulate nutrients. So, all solid planets and moons have the same general chemical makeup, so nutrients are present. Those with a water cycle or volcanic activity can transport and replenish the chemicals required by living organisms. Mayroong lindol, mayroong volcanic activity, at nagpipermit ito para ang mga nutrients ay mag-flow all throughout the planet. Kapag masyado namang aktibo ang isang planeta, hindi nito mabibigyan ng opportunity ang mga organisms na tanggapin itong mga nutrients na ito. And here are the reasons why planet Earth is unique. Number one is liquid water. So, kailangan ng liquid water para maging habitable ang isang planeta. Number two is atmosphere. Kailangan ay mayroon siyang makapal na atmosphere upang protektahan ang organisms sa harmful radiation coming from the sun at itrap ang init na nanggagaling dito. And number three, plate tectonics. Higit sa lahat ay kinakailangan ng activity ng isang planeta upang yung mga nutrients ay matatransport sa iba't ibang bahagi ng planet. And in summary, we can say that Earth is habitable because 1. It has the right distance from the sun. Second, 
It is protected from the harmful solar radiation by its magnetic field, which is very unique among the eight planets. Mayroon tayong magnetic field na nagde-deflect ng harmful radiation coming from the sun. Third, Earth is habitable because it is kept warm by an insulating atmosphere. The atmosphere traps the heat coming from the sun. And fourth, it has the right amount of ingredients for life, including water and carbon. So now, let us compare these terrestrial planets. We have Earth, Mars, and Venus. Saan sila magkakapareho? Of course, lahat sila ay terrestrial. Ibig sabihin, they are solid or made up of solid rocks. Second, mayroong atmosphere. They almost have the same time to rotate on their axis. Mayroong water ang Earth at Mars. And they have carbon dioxide at may mga landforms. Saan naman sila magkakaiba? So, ang Venus ay walang water. And Venus and Mars do not have oxygen, hindi kagaya ng Earth. And last, Earth has life forms. Sa tatlong planeta, ang Earth lamang ang tanging may life forms o may organisms na nabubuhay.